Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to discuss exactly what settings I use on my GoPro to film in and out of the water. Pretty much the whole time I have had this YouTube channel, I have been using GoPros as either a selfie cam, filming the vlog style stuff, or in the water doing uh, backflips and getting barreled with these cameras in my mouth or on a pole behind my board. I thought it was a good time to explain to you guys exactly what settings I use for different styles of video that I am doing. So if any of you guys are looking for any GoPros or accessories and are wondering what exactly I am using, I have listed all my GoPros and accessories down below that you guys can go and check out for yourself. They are all affiliate links, so I will be getting a percentage of this back and I would really appreciate if you guys would use those links and just help the channel out a little bit more. When it comes to the different setups and exactly what I'm doing with the GoPro at the time, all the settings change and it just depends on what exactly I want to shoot and what look I'm going for within the video itself. So first off, I just want to talk about the vlog style shooting and that would be when I have the pole on a cam or handheld and I am talking to you guys and just discussing exactly what I'll be doing. A lot of the time it's done in not the best lighting situations like when I'm at home here and I really have to play around with certain settings. So basically what I'll do is I will try and push it up to quite a high resolution, shooting about 2.7K, and I run all my cameras on PAL, which means that I shoot at around about 50 frames a second. This allows the hyper smooth stabilization to be on, and when you have that camera out in front of you and you're filming, and it gets a little bit shaky and a little bit weird, that will allow the camera to take those bumps and make that footage look as smooth as possible. I really enjoy using this style of stabilization because you don't have to be carrying around a gimbal or anything and these cameras now, how they are, both the 7 and the 8 have the most incredible in-body stabilization. You don't really need any of those gimbals anymore to get those real steady shots. Along with this, I changed the field of view just slightly. I changed it to the narrow setting. This allows the camera to really capture me in the center of the picture as quite a full frame picture and not get everything else on the outskirts of the frame. And that makes it a little bit more personal and look a little bit more professional when you are filming. When it comes to the stuff that I do in the water, there are two settings that I generally use. The first will be a 2.7K at 50 frames a second with hyper smooth stabilization on. And the second will be a 1080p at around about 100 frames a second. And this will be with your standard stabilization on. When you are filming at the higher frame rates, like 100 frames a second, you don't really need that hyper smooth stabilization to be activated and it won't actually activate at those high frame rates but it is really good to know that your stabilization is still on within the camera and you're still getting some smooth footage when you take it back and put it onto the computer. Generally when I'm shooting 2.7k at 50 frames the hyper smooth will be activated and I am generally using a super wide view in both of these water settings. That allows you to really look like you are deeper in the barrels and get those very wide shots that allow the lip to fall as well as the inside of the wave on basically all the waves that you are on. When it comes to the pro tunes, I like to run this as a fully auto camera. I don't like to really set up the pro tunes. So generally when I'm in the water, a lot of the time the conditions will change. Either there'll be clouds in the sky or it'll be late afternoons or early mornings and these conditions are always changing. So it is very hard to pick a tune that will work for any sort of condition that I am surfing in. That basically means that I turn the pro tunes off and just allow the camera to do what it would do automatically. Lastly, I wanna talk about ratios. Now, this is one thing that I have seen a lot of guys putting videos up where you either get like more of a square look 
or more of a cinematic look to your footage and for me I like the 16 by 9 ratio. This means that your frame will be stretched out to a full 1080 version and this will allow it to be viewed better on phones as well as on YouTube and anywhere else where you're putting your footage. In using the 16 by 9 this also means that you're getting a more full frame and will really help when you are using those wider fields of view and will give you a way more cinematic look to your footage. I hope you guys have learned a little bit more about the settings that you use inside of the GoPros and this is mostly for the GoPro 7 and the GoPro 8 when I talk about these settings and exactly what is working with the stabilization as well as all the ratios and everything else. So if you guys want to learn anything more about this or have any more questions, please drop it down in the comment section below as well as liking this video and subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified about these videos first. I'm super pumped up for this weekend. I've got a high performance clinic on in town which I'm heading to on Sunday and it looks to be a really good day. So. Super amped on that and we will see you guys in the next clip on Monday.